The values that I hold dear are a concern for truth and justice and love and compassion. These, of course, are often regarded as being the attributes of God. And in that sense, of course, they are for me, God. But when we pierce beneath the surface of the scriptures... He was a paid minister of the church. He was ordained, he took vows. He was paid, in fact, to be the teacher of the teachers about God. And then he turned around and said, there is no God. That's blasphemy and heresy, of course. If I demolish the arguments of my accusers, some may say I am just a clever debater. But if I do not face up to their charges, I may be accused of having no answer. This man defends himself against a charge of heresy. He has written that the bodily resurrection of Christ need not be taken literally. In sermons he has preached that man has no immortal soul. Professor Lloyd G. Gehring is 49 years old. He has a distinguished academic record. At Otago University, he was senior scholar for New Zealand in pure mathematics. He took his Master of Arts degree with first-class honours in mathematics. And he was one of the two Otago nominations for Rhodes Scholar. In his earliest student days, Professor Gehring says he considered himself something of an atheist. He said, the thought of becoming a minister at first repelled me, and I half hoped that I would be rejected. But the call was so strong that I simply had to obey it. Professor Gearing concentrated on Old Testament studies. He was three years Professor of Old Testament Studies in Queensland, and he spent three further years at Knox College before being appointed principal in 1962. This is the man, a man who has become to some a heretic. Well, when, when the word was first used, I rather laughed about it, really, because I thought the days of heresy trials have, have, have been over for 200 years, surely, and you know, it, seems, it seems absurd. The word heresy is a very interesting word in itself. It comes from a Greek word meaning to choose, and a heretic is one who had the audacity to choose a way which was in conflict with what the community thought. What has happened with heresy is that from the Enlightenment in the 18th century, we have all become free thinkers, free to think for ourselves. We are encouraged to think for ourselves. So in that sense, as one sociologist of religion has said in, in a book, we are all heretics today because we are in a cultural situation where we, we can now are free to develop our own individuality and our own thinking. And that is exactly what a heretic is.